We're good mates, good mates. Uh, we we socialise with with the other staff as well, obviously the other officers. But uh, we're uh, we're good mates in the workplace, and obviously good mates at home. We live we live together at uh, on site at the uh, at the homestead over there. That's that used to be the caretaker's place, and uh, I moved in fourteen years ago or so, and she moved in eight years ago. So. No, we're good mates. Uh, we do a lot of shifts together. We make sure we're on uh, together. So it's it's an interesting, uh, you know, they always say don't work with the person you live with, but in our situation, it, it works quite well. Do you think it works well? Oh, Gran, yeah. Yeah, look, it really does. It was an adjustment for you at first. It took a while, yeah, it took a yeah. while. <laughs> but it, it's good now, it's good now. It yeah, works well. Yeah. I um, actually knew Penny from, uh, she was uh, working at the St George Building Society in Blacktown um, in the sort of, throughout the 90s when I used to go in there, that's where I've got my savings account, and uh, I'd go in and and she was, uh, you were lovely to me in those days, the, I'd go in and she'd, um, she'd serve me, she'd always be smiling and uh, was always very friendly, but I could sense a, a sadness about her and she d indicated to me we got, got friendly through that relationship and she indicated to me that she wasn't happy with her working environment, that she wanted, that she was, was never that keen on the banking uh, industry. Mm -hmm. And when a position came up here at the, um, at the detention centre, the, the, the opportunity came up and I said to, to Penny, give it a go, come in for an interview and, and the rest is history, she got the job. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what you thought when I when I came in. It was a bold thing for me to do. But. Yeah, but, you know, I'd known you for a while. You know, you always came in and it was always, you know, I'd wait, just slow down my um, checking till you were at the front of the queue because you're a nice mm. customer, you know. It's yeah, great. well, I'm, I'm talkative and I'm quite friendly, so, yeah. so you know, we had that, uh, that little bond there. Yeah, and then the interview, she rigged it so she was on the panel. Sorry, she didn't rig it. She, she was on I the panel. It. <laughs> I rigged it so I was on the panel. It was me, it was the CEO, it was Nadine, the two IC, and uh, myself being the most senior officer here. And uh, when we met Penny, I'd, I'd built her up quite a bit, and uh, we lied about a few things, about a bit of her experience. We said that you'd uh, done some self-defence courses and that sort of thing, and that you were a black belt in karate, <laughs> which actually is not true at all. She's the most gentle lady that you could uh, come across, but uh, yes. She, um, yeah, so that, that got her the gig, uh, but, uh, you know, and I have to say, I mean, how did you feel on those first few weeks of starting? It wasn't, wasn't what we'd imagined. Well, it was a bit different to what Gran had said, actually. Bit of a shock to the system yeah. for most officers when they start here, but, uh, yes, Penny was... Uh, a fish out of water uh, for quite some time, and it was difficult because it, it put a strain on our friendship. I found her uh, in the bank quite a uh, quite a nice person to deal with here. I mean, I, I'm happy to say it now because we're, we're on different terms now, but she really pissed me off. She was behaving like a like a complete fuckwit for those first few weeks. Uh, I mean, she was shitting herself really. The boys were a lot tougher mm -hmm. than you'd imagined. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure how you found them, but but uh, from my perspective, it looked like you were completely out of your depth. Uh, you let the boys walk all over you. You, uh, you, uh, you there was the knife incident. She um, gave a boy a knife, which sounds insane, but a little uh, boy woke up in the middle of the night. I've got some chewing gum on my shoe, the oldest trick in the book. Uh, she went down to the kitchen, gave him a knife. Next day, he used it as a weapon, and we almost had a riot in the prison. Yeah. And that was... Uh, yeah. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't fall for it now. I mean, Grand's taught me a lot, but mm. at the time, it you know it just it seemed right. It did it, it just seem right? You know, you just it's poor kitty. But yeah, you learn. I mean, the kids are, yeah, the, the they're kids sneaky. are. They've come some pretty tough backgrounds. They're sneaky little bastards yeah. sometimes, and that's that's what she learnt, and we know that now. And it wouldn't happen now, but. Yes, those first few weeks were, I wondered what I'd done 